talk about how to bond two pieces of acrylic together with all the safety barriers that are being manufactured. We often see applications where two, barrier, two pieces of acrylic want to be cemented together. So we want to talk about some of the cements that we have. There are two types of cements. There's a solvent cement that is water thin, very, very thin. And then there's also a polymerizable cement, which is a much thicker, similar to an epoxy. Um, the benefits, solvent cement is a uh, quicker, much quicker, and has less labor and gives you a nice strong joint. The downside of a solvent cement is the potential for bubbles in the joint. The polymerizable cement is what guys will use for aquariums and also for museum vitrines. The benefit of this cement is that it can give you a nice bubble free joint and it's also strong. The downside is that it's a very labor intensive very labor intensive joint. It takes a long time and a lot of labor and sanding and buffing to get a nice pretty joint. Today we'll be using uh, two of our solvent cements in our demonstration today. The Acrofix 107 which is a, a quick cement, solvent cement that acts very quickly. It contains a little bit of methylene chloride. And then we also have our Acrofix 1S0117. This is a methylene chloride free solvent cement. So for those places where methylene chloride is an issue, this is the perfect solvent cement. This solvent cement also has a flow additive that allows it to flow really, really well. So if you have a hard time getting capillary, getting the cement into a corner somewhere, this cement will work really well. The first demo today we'll use is the Aquafix 107 cement. It contains a little bit of methylene chloride. As far as setup goes, it's very important to work in a well-ventilated area to make sure that the fumes from the solvent cement are able to be evacuated and not affect the person that's doing the cementing. The surface that you're, you're going to be cementing on, you want that to be as level as possible. That helps so that the cement doesn't want to run all over the place. This is a water thin cement, so the level is very, very important. Also, the surface finish of the piece that I'm going to cement is important. The better the surface finish, the better the cement joint will be. So that Axis router gives you a very, very nice joint and it's perfect for solvent cementing right off of the router. So we're going to do a T-joint today. We're going to use a clamp and a fixture to make sure that we're going to hold it at 90 degrees. So we have a, a clamp on the side that gives us 90 degrees, making sure that we're nice and, and plumb to the piece underneath. Once we're almost set up, we're going to use a thinner cleaner. We're going to use a cleaner, thinner cleaner 30, to clean the joint. This will help remove anything, any contaminants like fingerprints that might be left on the piece prior to cementing. It might give you a little bit of a, a little bit of abnormalities in the cement joint. So we have our jig holding us at 90 degrees. We're nice and clean. We're going to use, this is a hypo applicator with a needle to help with, uh, to help with the capillary cementing. Acrofix 107 inside the cement. I'm going to squeeze off the, the bottle a little bit to allow me to get it down to the joint without, without dripping. And as soon as all the bubbles, all the air has been pulled out of that, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit and you'll be able to see the cement capillary action get chased right into the joint. This is a quick acting cement, and so it's going to set up in about 30 to 45 seconds. After the cement's been there for a little while, it's never a bad idea to put a little bit of weight onto the joint and help squeeze everything into place. The joint with the Acrofix 107 cement is now set up and is firm and is in place, so we'll take apart the joint to take a look at the quality of the joint to see if there's any bubbles. Take off the weight, take off our jigs that are giving us our nice 90 degrees. The joint itself appears to, to be pretty firm right now. Full strength doesn't come for 24 hours, so before I would really you know, put it to the test, I would wait 24 hours. Here's the quality of that cement joint. Again, the surface finish of the sheet in the beginning is going to really affect how well that joint is uh, how bubble free and the quality of that joint. If you have heavy saw marks, 
you'll be able to see the saw marks on the saw and cement joint. If you were to use a laser cut piece, it gives you a really nice finish, but it puts stress into the sheet, and then when you have that stress in the sheet, and I go and saw and cement it, it will cause crazy, and little cracks in the sheet that will continue to grow over time. To uh, get away from that, you either got to edge finish off the piece that's been, saw, uh, been laser cut, or you could anneal the sheet. Now we're going to duplicate the same demo that we did with the Acrofix 107 cement with the Acrofix 1S0117 cement, the non-methylene chloride that flows really nice and you'll be able to see that. A little slower in that setup, so instead of being 30 to 45 seconds more in that minute to minute and a half range before you really are able to move the pot. So again, have the solvent cement with a hypo applicator. I'm going to bring it down to the joint, put my needle into the, the corner of that joint, wait until I pull all the bubbles, and then I'm going to squeeze and you can see that flow ahead of me as the capillary reaction pulls the cement into the joint. We have the jig, the fixture holding us at 90 degrees and we're going to put a little bit of weight on that just to help squeeze everything out. It's been about a minute and a half now, the, the 117 cement is set up and we can now take the, the joint apart and look at the, the quality of the joint. Take off the jigs and the fixtures and clamps to keep us at 90. And let's take a look and see how we did. So not bad, again that, that edge finish, the surface quality of that edge is very important to give you a nice, nice joint. So nice strong joint, again 24 hours before you use full setup. So both the 107 and the 117 joints are both nice and strong, bubble free. As people are beginning to, you know, continuing to build barriers, safety barriers, sneeze guards, we see times where they might want to add a foot to the, the barrier to give it a little more stability or strength, or maybe a, a wing off on one side, again, for strength and stability. And the uh, solvent cements that, that we spoke about today, the Acrofix 117 and 107, do a really good job of giving you a quick, uh, joint that gives you the strength and stability that you're looking for.